What's going on, everybody? It is time for the Bait Man Live once again here at TackleFreaks.com and Kentucky Lake Outdoors. And I have been very busy uh, the last few days and whatnot. So, couldn't really think of a topic, but we do have a few new things in. So, this isn't going to be as long a show as normal. Uh, just a quick refresher on what's in, what's restocked, and what is coming to the store. What's up, Jimmy Rex, Mr. Lake X himself? Jimmy, I'm going to come down there with Fluke Master next Tuesday. Uh, hopefully, they're biting. What's up, Cody? What's up, Scott? Same thing, different day, brother. Uh, still need a haircut. I'm looking like Brent Anderson over here. Definitely not fishing like him. Hey, James, what's up, man? What's up, Scott? So we got a lot of cool stuff to go over tonight. Uh, a lot of cool things back in stock. I'm going to show you off the redemption rods. We got them in. I uh, just put those online. Um, and just some cool stuff in general. Uh, let you know about some restock stuff. I uh, just couldn't figure out, out anything to do today. My boy did not catch any fish, but man, he tried. He tried. Unfortunately, where we fish doesn't have a lot of, a lot of fish in there. Hey, Rick, what's up, buddy? Hey, Josh, how's it going, man? What's up, Bobby? So first things up, guys. A lot of guys have been asking about the hats, the camo hats, flex fit, and snapback are now back in stock on the website. Uh, but I got some cool colors back in as well. Josh, I haven't heard yet, buddy. Sure haven't. Uh, the famous purple and white Tackle Freaks hat is now back. Limited edition. We got a few in stock. What's up, Clayton? Clayton Smallmouth King. What's up, CP? Uh, I have not heard about a new Vixen. Uh, as far as I know, there's not a new Vixen yet. <sighs> Hold on. I'm trying to get in the show before I take these questions, buddy. Uh... What do I throw on a sunny blue sky day, 70 degree water after the top water bite stops? Uh, I'm going to throw something on the bottom. Uh, 70 degrees. Uh, probably going to go flipping and pitching. Uh, creature baits. Lizard. Uh, so the purple hat is now back in stock. A new camo hat. A snapback camo in white. It's a good looking hat right here. For the guys who don't want the black mesh, we've got this nice white mesh. It fits a lot better than that, trust me. My hair's going away. I got a big noggin. So we got this new nice classic, classic camo hat. It's a good looking hat, like it. Uh, I'm more of a flex fit guy. I'm not gonna have any hair, so I've got to uh, wear the best looking hat I can. But then, I've got, this hat is brand new, just come out. The neon orange with the orange Tackle Freaks logo flex fit now available. Oh yeah, I'm digging that one pretty good. Digging it in, it needs to be broken in. That one is available now. Yes, Andy, we do have a flat bill hat. This is a new. This is the new Cryptek uh, snapback, and I have that normal orange and snapback, but this is the Cryptek snapback. And it is a little flatter with the bill, as if you can't see. Um, guys that like that, here you go. Uh, you can bend this thing as well. You know, it's all up to you. I like the purple, man, Clayton. I do like the purple, but this one's pretty cool with the Cryptek uh, and the orange. I can't pull off a flat bill very well, but maybe I'll try. It's not too bad. But I'll stick to my trusty camo. But these are new hats, now on the website. Just put them up there today. Uh, they are ready to roll out of here. And guys, do me a favor. If you're liking the video, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Go ahead and share that. Let's get some more people in here. Um, and we'll go over some other stuff. Speaking of clothing, I'm going to do a giveaway tonight. This new company, uh, A-Game Camo, sent me a bunch of stuff to give away to some viewers. So uh, they make this, this, this camo pattern. It's kind of a, more of a coral deal pretty cool they sent me a, a bunch of hats and some shirts to give away um so we're going to give away some a-game apparel tonight um visors so i'm going to give about two hats a visor and some shirts to give away 
Uh, plus, we'll find some other stuff to throw in there. Uh, before I get too much into it, guys, uh, Saturday from 3 to 6 p.m. here at the store, Meet the Pros Night. Zach Burge will be here. Uh, Clint Davis will be here. Forest Wood Cup champion Justin Atkins will be here in the store. And my man, Brian Latimer, uh, that has a YouTube channel. Uh, he'll be in here. Z-Man, Favorite Rides Pro. Really excited. From 3 to 6 p.m., we're going to give away not one, but two Abu Garcia STX Gen 4 reels plus two Veritas rods. We're going to give those away. 15% uh, off everything in the store in the fishing department except for batteries and oil, plus uh, on Berkeley products, uh, dredgers and Maxent power bait. You buy two, you get one free. You can mix and match. So go buy two dredgers, you get a free one. You can buy two packs of power bait generals, uh, you buy two, you get one free. You can mix it up. You can buy one crankbait, one pack of Maxent, get one free. So 3 to 6 p.m., my local guys come out here at Kentucky Lake Outdoors, uh, meet the pros, probably have a few more guys roll in as well. See if I can get Jordan Osborne in here, a few other guys. But Zach Burge, uh, Clint Davis, Brian Latimer, and my buddy uh, Justin Atkins, last year's Force Wood Cup champion, will be here in the store. We'll have plenty of deals, stuff to give away. Just 3 to 6 p.m. That way uh, you can go fish, uh, get off the water in the afternoon, and then come down here to the store and have a big time. What's up, Chris? So let's go over some more new stuff I have got in. Uh, everybody's been asking. If you didn't see it, the trash fish is now back in stock. Uh, so shout out to Benno for getting me these before the event. This is the 8-inch trash fish. This is tucked out chartreuse shad. This is the big daddy. You're going to see this player this week. And then uh, I did have some 6 inches come in. This is uh, LC Hitch tucked out. And if you don't know what tucked out means, it means it has a white belly. So the trash fish are now uh, back in stock. And then I'm going to go ahead and get this one out of the package. Uh, what day is pro day? Shay, Saturday, 3 to 6 p.m. 3 to 6 p.m. So this Saturday from 3 to 6, Kentucky Lake Outdoors, meet the pros. Now, I'm sure guys will be in and out of the store Wednesday as it's their uh, day off from fishing. But here is the, the, if you haven't seen this before, this is the Little Creeper uh, Sunfish. Awesome bait. Doesn't get talked about quite as much as the normal uh, trash fish, but I'm going to try to get one out of the package here. Uh, Benno really staples these things up so he can't get them out. I'm going to show this to you really quickly. So this is the little tree creeper sunfish. Looking good there. My Kentucky Lake guys know that color. So got the classic trash fish tail on it. Uh, you can rig this up with a 6 aught on her beast hook. See that little bubble goes right under the chin. And your hook will come out right here. So I got these predetermined slots. Great little bait when the bluegill are spawning. Hint, hint, around some boat docks, and you could rig it to fish out deep, but this right here is an awesome bed and fish bait, and that is the Little Creeper uh, Sunfish. Got another color called uh, Mel Gill on the website. These are available now, super soft. These are awesome. So if you're into swim baits, and you, def and you like the Little Creeper baits, you'll probably want to get some of these sunfish. Don't have that many, um, so they're going pretty quick. I'm going to try to put this back in the package here in just a minute. What else we got in uh, new as far as baits? Uh, let's see. My Ned Rig guys, we got a new, the owner blockhead. Uh, this is another Ned Rig style head. What is the best jig head to use on them out deep? That's a good question. I personally use on the 8 inch, a 1 ounce big hammerhead. Uh, or like a, the Tackle Freaks 1-ounce 7 aught hooks work really good. Um, on the 6-inch trash fish, if you're going to fish around weeds, 8 uh, aught on her beast hook. If you're going to fish uh, out deep, you want at least a half or three-quarter uh, ounce head with a 5 aught hook. The 6-inch isn't nearly as big. Matter of fact, I've used like the Strike King Squadron head and just glued it on there done really well on it. Uh, they make some internal heads that you can put in the trash fish that are really good. Um, 
that would be my suggestions. But I got a video coming on YouTube, my whole swim bait arsenal, and, and you'll probably see that early next week, and, and that'll really help you. But owner blockhead, that's now available. Really popular, super sharp little hook in this thing, and great for your nets. Uh, let's see what else we got here, new product wise. Uh, man, I got a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, keep on swim baits. I got a new product preview of something coming soon at tacklefreaks.com. Absolutely, Clayton, I'll be here. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of Beast Coast Fishing. They're out of California. And uh, this is their five inch swim bait. This is the Miyagi Swimmer. And I actually tested this over at Lake X, and this little swim bait is pretty badass. It's only available in one size, multiple colors. Um, it's got a little pocket on the bottom, so you, the hook goes through really well uh, when you rig it weedless with the beast hook. And then right here, uh, it's solid up top, so you can rig it with the normal swim bait head. Very similar to the Jinko Booty Shaker. I know guys are going to ask, but these baits actually come out a little bit before the booty shaker uh it's a really good bait only made in one size several really good colors on these this is just one i got to preview this color is called beast coast shad man it looks good and catches them too so gonna have some beast coast tungsten come up on here uh and some other baits from them uh pretty cool packaging I'm not gonna lie uh, you'll know when you see these on the shelf that's how the packaging looks on these things there's three in a pack. Pretty good price. I think retail price is like six bucks on these. So for swim bait, that is not bad at all. All right, what else we got? I know I got a lot of guys that like the Zoom. How is it compared to the Babe as far as size? It's a smaller bait, Webb. Uh, speaking of the Babe, the Babe will be here tomorrow. I've got a pile. No pre-sale. If you want the Babe, you better log on to tacklefreaks.com and try to get on there. Uh, I, I've had some issues with pre-sales. I've had guys that pre-order and then I send them baits and they call me and say, well, I wanted more than that. You know, hey. So it's going to be first come, first serve on the babe. Make sure you're following the Tackle Freaks page on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and you'll know as soon as they come up there. And you got to remember, we're going to have people in store. So it's going to be crazy. But I got a ton of babes coming, probably about 300 baits. Uh, it's the deal. I also have Optimal Boom Booms arriving tomorrow and a few other things, the new coal clip and coal, clip and coal from Calcos. But I know I got a lot of mag trickworm guys in here and I got another color in, didn't get many of them. I hadn't even got them on the website. That's Bluegill Flash. So you guys that like throwing uh, the mag trickworms or a uh, trickworm in general in shad colors, there's that Bluegill Flash, very similar to the Kitek. This is gonna be really good on those deep Clearwater Lakes where the fish really like the blueback herring. I've thrown this down there on a nail weight, get you a few bites. Um, speaking of blueback herring, I've got another cool bait uh, in. If y'all remember, I've had what they call the pulse fish. Now this is the pulse fish jig head. Uh, so now you can buy these little jig heads by themselves in two packs. I'll have them on the website tomorrow. What's really cool about this is when you slide your fluke or your favorite bait if you'll notice right here there is a keeper on the side and you can kind of pull that out a little bit and it will keep right into your fluke this is a chatterbait style um, scrounger head hybrid uh, and i've got these in some heavy ones as well what's up jesse this is going to be a good little ledge bait great uh for lanier altoona uh south carolina's uh what's that lake jojo lives on lake hartwell those kind of places pulse fish really good and got those all the way up to seven eighths real heavy for us deep water experts so we think what else we got new here oh i've got the phantom tube hook from owner if you don't know about these uh what you do is you actually um open this up real quick wish i had a tube handy but i don't well i can't open them up but anyway you go ahead, instructions on the back, you hook it backwards and you pull that weight through and it's basically like a stupid tube, uh, but it comes in right here and the weight's a little bit longer than a stupid tube. But I've got these in stock. Guys have really, really been asking 
Uh, so I've got those. I'll throw them up on the website tomorrow if they're not already up there. I've, I've been doing it so busy I forgot half of what I've done. Um, oh yeah, back in stock. Jackhammers. Got some half ounce bruised green pumpkin. I've got a few other colors. What's up, Gabriel? I believe uh, B Height Delight in the half ounce jackhammer is available. Bruised green pumpkin, uh, green pumpkin shad in three eighths. Um, they're ready. More, more on the way, but we got jackhammers back in. Uh, what else we got here? All right, from Picasso, these are really popular. This is the tungsten ball head. This is great for your Ned rigs, but I really like it for throwing Kitek 2.8s, 3.3s, stuff like that. And these right here are great. Um, I think, oh, there we go. There's some light. So these are weedless jigs. Uh, got these in 8th and 3 sixteenths. I'm really low in quarters. But speaking of Picasso, something I really like. I'm glad we got a big stock of these. This is the Picasso tungsten football jig. So let me get this out and show you why this is a special little jig. Uh, so a lot of guys aren't familiar with tungsten jigs. Um, I wasn't until about two years ago and I got to throw in a little Kitek jig and it's a great jig. But it, the weed guard left a little bit to be desired. Well this guy, if you have not seen this before, this has got a little tri guard. So I'll go ahead and pull it up and spread her out just a little bit. But that's a half ounce jig and that's a really, really small profile. Hello, White, how you doing? And that's a green pumpkin purple. And this is just a four aught hook, just a regular round bend. It does have a little hook keeper back here for soft plastic. But it's tungsten, so you're going to get a lot of sensitivity off this jig. Um, now, I'm going to show you as far as a trailer on these football jigs like this. I'm really going to downsize my trailer and what I like is the Z Craw Jr. And the reason is if you look at my jig in a trailer, very similar. Uh, this color is called Huckleberry. And I'll take this right here. And I'm just going very simple. The cool thing about the Z Craw, if you want it smaller, you can just bite off a little bit. See that? And I'm going to thread it all the way up onto the jig so it gets on that keeper. And now I have a tungsten football jig that's got a very finesse trailer on it, but still bulky enough. It's gone. Lewis, the camo hats are in stock, buddy. I have Flex Fit camo and this new camo right here. She ready. She ready to go. As Johnny McComb says, she ready to go. Just get on the site. You can get them right now. But really like this. Very finesse, uh, but it's still uh, bulky enough for a big meal. And the cool thing about tungsten is this is half ounce. Uh, you can get a, the three quarters not much bigger than this at all. So you can go really heavy and still have a finesse profile. Yeah, Menace Grub is a good one. Uh, by the way, Jesse, uh, those gunfish are coming tomorrow. So you got a package coming from me, buddy. Sorry about that. What's up, Brandon Marshall? Del Hollow Lake right here, buddy. This would be really good. So what's really cool is uh, on this tungsten football jig, I really like these little keepers. Uh, there's no weed guard, so it's very easy for the hook to penetrate, but it deflects off cover very, very well. So that's from Picasso. I've got a really good stock of these in right now. Um, they're ready to go. They're on the website on Tackle Freaks. Just go under football jigs, and they are there. I'm pretty sure I have these Z-Crawls on as well. What's up, Justin? So, as far as new products, I only got a few more things. Uh, if you don't know what these are, these are owner safety caps. And I'm totally going to hopefully not bust the bag open too bad. Just to show you what these little owner guys are. So, if you're a guy that likes to organize and likes to work on crankbaits all the time, and you don't want to, you want to put your baits in your Bass Mafia boxes, and you don't want to get hooked. This is the way to go. All you gotta do is take these little safety caps and you stick them right over your treble hooks. And, and then they click in. And this is a LV500, by the way. I'm gonna hook myself. You just stick your little safety caps over your hook, push it in, 
and they got several sizes that purple is actually uh, the medium size but I've got small and large that right there man it's gonna save you a lot of time your baits aren't gonna get hung up together if you got kids around you don't have to worry about them going through uh, your boxes and hooking their fingers really good deal and they're cheap they're like $2.99 for a pack of 10 or something like that uh, I'm gonna grab me some before I leave but also that's a new color LV 500 that's called flake flake happy gill that one right there is I've got a bunch of LV 500s back in stock they are on the website so what's up Todd while we're talking about lucky craft we might as well talk about the bait that almost won the Kentucky Lake tournament right here RC 2.5 copper green shed this is what Skeet Reese was throwing for the most part alternating between this and the 1.5 I'm not gonna take it out of the package no Todd you're the man buddy don't forget it so these are available uh, Skeet basically was alternating between this and the LC pointer 128 which is discontinued unfortunately he also threw a pointer 127 as well but this copper green shad we got it uh, some other cool colors in there. This is live the red fin, and that's available in the 1.5 as well. Shad spawn bait right here, guys. And that's kind of what Skeet keyed on was that early morning shad spawn bite. Taking advantage of that with the square bill, the jerk bait, uh, and also swim bait. No problem, Tim. No problem. I'm just kind of going on tonight. I, I really don't know what to talk about. I don't want to pull out all my ledge stuff right now because. I'm not so sure FLW is going to catch him out deep. We'll see. Uh, but uh, this is a cool color. This is called Impulse Shad. And the good thing about these new Lucky Craft Square Bells, $6.99. It's on target with everybody else out there, so you don't have to pay out the wazoo. Now, the LA 500s are still over $10, but got these. This is the. Uh, I have not seen the shad spawning up north, Eric. But you got to go fishing to find the shad spawn. I have not been fishing, so uh, I'd imagine there's a little shad spawn going on somewhere. But this is the Brandy Hunter Special. This is the LC RTO 3.5. And if you know anything about Brandon fishing the FLW events, he whacked them on this bait right here, and they are in stock for sure. Um, this is Pearl Threadfin Shad, one of my favorite colors. We got several available. I love this plug. I uh, just got six cents deep divers ordered. The cloud series will be here probably the first of the week as well. So we're gonna have a good show next week because uh, we're gonna get a lot. We're gonna talk about ledge fishing and we'll start with just an overview of baits for ledge fishing. Then we'll get really specific. So while we're talking about the bass event, uh, let's talk about, you know, Wesley Strader threw a Z Craw, a white one, not this one, a white one. Oh. Uh, I'm glad for him, Paul. Nothing like him, little boys. And he also threw a sweet beaver. So if you didn't know what a beaver is, there's the beaver. So that's the two shallow water baits that Wesley was using uh, around the bushes. Um, I don't know what spinner bait exactly he was throwing. I know it was a Zorro spinner bait, but Wesley was making his spinner baits uh, on the water, which was totally awesome. Uh, which shows you how in tune he is with what he's doing. He just makes up uh, what he needs. But uh, just throwing that little spinner bait around the boat docks, and he was throwing a, a custom square bill from Phil Hunt uh, in and around those docks, places where most guys are going to throw a soft plastic, a jig, even the spinner bait. Uh, part of Wesley's success was throwing a crankbait where nobody wants to throw a crankbait, and you know, he was getting a lot of bites and very successful at it. If you weren't watching Bass Live, it was, it was awesome. Basically, him and Skeet going back and forth, back and forth. But you know what's really weird? Out of all the stuff that's been going on, I keep getting asking about this bait right here, Magdraft. So this is the six inch version, but I want to show you all a little bit about the Magdraft if you don't know about it. So the Magdraft, I'm gonna have to take this one out of the package. That's the only problem about Mega Bass. I've got to take everything out of packages. Hey, Kimber, what's up? What's up, John Gale? So this is uh, the Mega Bass Mag Draft. This is the six inch. Now this is a shallow water swim bait. Uh, this Mag Draft here is not designed to fish over ledges. It's really designed to fish in that four to six foot water range. 
What's cool about this bait is you'll see here, uh, it's got a magnet. It's got a magnet to hold that treble hooks. So it will hold just like that. And then once one grabs it, this will come down. And then it will go back. You can actually push that hook. You can actually make it a little bit more weedless by sticking that hook up in the bait. But this bait is really great for parallel and riprap, doing exactly what Skeet and Zeldane was. But this is only the six inch one. I got a bunch coming. There's gonna be more mag drafts available maybe tomorrow. I know for sure around Monday. The white color that Zeldane was throwing, not available. Zeldane was throwing the eight inch. Uh, I think Skeet had a, a, a six or an eight as well, but this is a great shallow water swim bait. There's another one called the Mag Slow. It actually has a feather uh, treble on it. The feather was, uh, the Mag Slow was a lot better deep water swim bait. It's weighted to stay down there on the bottom. But that is the Mag Draft. Awesome bait. I've had them for a couple years, and I'll be honest, I haven't had a lot of luck. But the guys that throw this seem to really catch them. I just cannot catch them on this. Uh, that's mostly me, not the bait. This is obviously a great, great bait. Uh, this is the last one I got left. I'm actually holding it for somebody. Uh, what else do we have new? Don't really have a whole lot of stuff new. Um, if you're a co-angler, this is awesome. This is the Shimano Black Moon Backpack. This is the smaller version. And what's really cool is it is a backpack, so you can wear your tackle bag. So now you're ready to go and the cool thing about this black moon backpack uh, it comes with boxes in it you just unzip this thing right here this is how you get into the backpack you can unzip it right in the middle voila there's your tackle trays you're ready to go uh, great for co-anglers great for if you're a guy that fishes off the bank uh, you can store plenty of stuff in here. Uh, you've got room for your sunglasses. More storage up here. The Black Moon backpack. You've got these things right here where you can store stuff in. It's just really, really good. Uh, I know several guys really like these. These are awesome. And I think they're not too expensive. I think that one's uh, 100 bucks or so. I'll have those loaded on Tackle Freaks. They even make a bigger one, but I really like this. Uh, these are great gifts if you're going to go fish co-angler, if you're going to pond hop. doesn't get too much better than this right here. So let's talk about uh, rods real quick. Here it is. The Redemption Rods. Brent Anderson Signature Series are now available. This is the Deep Cranking Stick. 7 foot 7. Uh, medium moderate action but it will handle all the way up to a 10 xd if you want but perfect for a 5 xd 6 xd uh, the z boss 20 the 22s uh it's all brent specs these are really lightweight and i've been playing with them a lot at the store and i'm pretty pumped about it. i'm gonna have to give one a try and i've got the other uh redemption rods available uh, now i know some guys are going to ask i know brent they may have had rod at 139 but you know, we eat the shipping on Tackle Freaks for shipping over 150, so you know we gotta got make up for a shipping. But this is the Brent Anderson Big Top Water Rod, and this is a machine. If you like to throw big spooks, uh, big poppers, gunfish, sammies, this is the rod. This is going to handle all from three eighths all the way up to almost an ounce and a half top water, seven foot, uh, moderate fast action, awesome, awesome rod. Um, it's got those EVA foam grips, and boom, made in the USA. So these don't come overseas. They're all made here in the United States. Um, got really good pack bay components on here, titanium guides. They're lightweight and designed where you can fish all day. What's up, Chris? So right here, uh, dang, Kelly J's watching. Kelly J, what is your jerkbait secrets that's what we want to know we want to know your jerkbait secrets so but that's the redemption rod uh from brent anderson great square bill rod and then a lot of guys been asking when i was gonna get this rod back in this is the 
Tatula XT 99.99 glass rod. They're back in stock. Uh, what kind of warranty is in there? Uh, Eric, I want to say it may be like 50 bucks or so um, within the first year. Uh, message the redemption page. Let them get you straight. Uh, they'll take care of you. I know those guys really well. Uh, but the Tatula glass rod is now back in stock. So what else have we got here? Oh, Costa. Costa has finally put some bass fishing shirts out there. Just got this sweet mint green shirt in today. Uh, going to load those on the website. And here's another, the same thing in the ash gray. Even got some smalls for you ladies out there. All right, so let's talk about FLW is now officially on the clock. They will be here Saturday. First day of practice starts Sunday. Um, I'm trying to, what's up Michael Lowe? So I'm trying to figure out uh, how this tournament is going to be won because personally, there's still fish on the beds. There's still fish waiting to go to bed and there's fish that have spawned. So we really are in one huge cluster of what are the fish doing? And so that's made fishing tough for a lot of guys. Uh, I've been hearing two reports, not getting many bites, but I'm catching big ones or I'm getting a lot of bites and catching tons of fish, but they're all this big. So that just tells me you've got fish in all three phases of the spawn. And I really feel like FLW could be one shallow as well. Uh, Cause there's some absolute hammers. Uh, if there's any flipping fish, top water fish, dock fish available, you know, Zach's great at that. Zach Birds, Andy Morgan, Andy can fish deep too. Um, there's a lot of shallow water hammers in that tournament. Uh, and you know, there's a lot of good offshore fishermen, Randy Haynes, Jason Lambert, Clint Davis. So, and speaking of Clint Davis, I'm not just saying this cause my buddy, but go look up FLW stats of Clint on the Tennessee River, especially Kentucky Lake. It'll surprise you that dude does not miss the top 10. Costa tour event, uh, Clint's got a special run on this lake. So now I've definitely jinxed him, but uh, add him to your fantasy team. Uh, let's talk about some more picks for fantasy. Uh, you gotta add Jason Lambert on there, uh, Tennessee River Specialist, Randy Haynes. Uh, if they're out deep, Randy's gonna catch them really well. Mark Rose, uh, Brian Thrift. Uh, can catch them shallow. If it's a junk fishing tournament, it's going to be really hard to beat thrift. And that's what's really cool about the way Kentucky Lake is setting up. You know, thrift could catch one skipping a jig, then run out there out deep and catch one old big plug. I mean, he's very versatile. And uh, that's, I think a junk fisherman is going to excel one or two of them, actually. What's your opinion the best fluoro for finesse braid to fluoro leader? Man, dude, I don't throw a lot of those leaders. Uh, I, I use some Sunline Assassin leader, and I like it pretty well. It's pretty good stuff. Scott Martin, Scott's got a good uh, track history here at Kentucky Lake. Um, I think he could do very well. Um, I'm, I'm trying to th think of some sleeper picks that we haven't seen all season. You cannot count out Terry Bolton. Yeah, I hate to put him on the spot, but there's no way you can count out my man, TB. Uh, if anybody knows this lake and what their fish are doing, he does. Uh, I'd really love to see Terry win it. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's try and think of some more sleeper picks uh, in here. Uh, Scott Canterbury. Cameron is a good pick. Tennessee River guy. Uh, Scott Canterbury can catch him shallow. He knows how to catch them deep here. Uh, if there's any kind of jig bite at all, I expect Scott to find it. Uh, two locals. The only local I can I know of is, is Bolton. Uh, now Keith Emerson is is a good Tennessee River guy. Uh, it will be one on Kentucky Lake Web, and I'm going to say it will be one between the Highway 68 Bridge and Paris Landing. It could be one way south as well. Um, but I'm, going, I'm just going to guess that's an area that like just hadn't got a lot of pressure lately, and I could be totally wrong. Uh, Ramey, 
Ramey's a good pick, man. Ramey is a, a good fisherman, uh, especially if there's any kind of Barkley bite. But Ramey fishes Kentucky a lot more than guys um, think. But I think the tournament will be a one on Kentucky Lake, but there is a time when uh, uh, Barkley shines, and it could be happening. Man, it's really, really hard to win back-to-back, -back, and that's the only reason I don't pick guys two tournaments in a row. That's really hard to do that. Seems like a good fisherman. Uh, Cameron does spend a lot of time on the Tennessee River. Super nice guy. Uh, Pickwick uh, veteran. Um, he did really good. I think it was last year in the Coast. I believe he made a top 20 here. I like that. That's a good sleeper pick. I have not caught any janks lately. I haven't even been fishing much. I took my little boy yesterday, but that's kind of the rundown on on how kentucky lake's going to be but i'm going to go the way in every day so i'll definitely go live and we'll do interviews uh with some of the pros up there and and whatnot uh any other big derbies going on at the same time like last week yeah i think the triton owners tournament's friday and saturday i could be wrong or maybe that's it may be the week after but uh one i'm glad you said that web uh I want to make a point here. So I got, I've had guys ask me, and, and it's okay, it's not their fault. What's up, Kevin? Say, hey man, uh, do you want to go out and follow the pros around? Me, I'm like, well, I got to work, so I can't. But I, I'm just not a big guy and want to follow the pros around. I'm here, I live on this lake. I'm here 365 days a year, minus when I go out of town. But there's nothing that really excites me about following pros around and go looking for spots, man. It causes a lot of drama. And I'm just going to put it out there. Me and Skeet Reese are buddies. And, you know, from photos on bass and what's been on the internet, local guy, and, you know, I'm not going to dog you out, call your name, all that. Local guy is right up there in front of Skeet fishing while Skeet's fishing for 100 grand. Come on, man. That needs to be on ESPN. Come on, man. You just let these guys fish it's one thing to be a spectator it's one thing to fish across the other side of the bay but man when you're <laughs> yeah when you're fishing in front of the guy that's leading the tournament and you and then he goes to his next spot and you're there again and then you're there at the next spot dude come on nobody cares just man let these guys have it you know it's different. If you're fishing a tournament, Skeet's fishing a tournament, and you just have to wind up the same spot, you know, work it out. No big deal. No harm, no foul. But, dude, if you ain't fishing for money, just back off. That's all, you know. And, and you know, I don't know if Skeet was upset or anything, but I just feel like as locals, if we want these guys to respect us, we have to respect them. They're only here for four days out of the year, one week a year. Local guys are here. And if you can't catch fish on your local lake and you have to go follow the pros around, I got something to, to tell you. You ain't, you don't need to be doing that. If you can't catch, if you have to follow the pros, you don't need to be entering derbies, man. Just don't do it. What's up, Michael? Kelly, I'm glad you had a really good experience, man. So I do, so as much as I get on to guys, I want guys to say stuff like, hey, the locals are really courteous, so to that guy's thumbs up. Uh, really didn't hear much of nothing negative, but I did see some photos of bass and kind of heard some stuff through the grapevine that uh, you know, Skeet had a few issues. Uh, it is what it is, and I love Skeet, uh, and he's always been really good to me, uh, a good friend of mine. Love him or hate him, he's took care of the bait man pretty well. Um, so. But uh, I just want to know how Kelly J catches fish on a jerk bait. That's it. That's the only reason I'm in here. Awesome dude. I enjoyed seeing uh, him smash those fish uh, out there. It's something us local guys really don't think about. Man, when it hits like into April, we don't get a jerk bait out. It's time to go ledge fishing. And, and Skeet and Kelly and a few other guys showed us. I mean, you got to put that. You can keep that jerk bait out a lot longer than you realize and really catch those catch those fish. So, but uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate uh, y'all joining in tonight. Don't really have a topic next week. We'll definitely have a topic. Oh, man, I'm not a Preds fan. I am a San Jose Sharks fan. I have been since I've been five years old, so Sharks are out, unfortunately. 
Do you think all the derbies at Kentucky Lake hurt the ordinary fishermen coming down for vacation? Uh, man, lakes receive pressure, uh, but man, right now we got a problem. It's called Asian carp. Uh, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but it's definitely that mixed in with fishing pressure and some bad spawns. <sighs> Let me talk, Matt. Some bad spawns really kind of mesh together and create a really bad ecosystem right now and we've got to do something about the carp there's not a there's not a permanent solution out there um, it, it's it's a bad deal Aaron we may get up on a jig show next week you know we may talk some ledge fishing jigs but uh, I was trying not to make a long show because I got some things to do tonight uh, most all the products you saw tonight will be on the website make sure you check back in tomorrow evening about the babe trust me if we don't put a post up it's not up there, but the bait would be available. Uh, the trash fish are ready to go. Um, I'm going to jump off here. I'm going to work on some more YouTube video stuff. If you like that stuff, let me know. I'm going to put up to a nice giveaway of this A-game stuff. Uh, put it up tomorrow. We'll give uh, the A-game a shout out. And uh, I'm going to jump off here, guys. Uh, Next week I'll be a lot more organized. Got a lot of things going on. I'm trying to keep working on the website. So, guys, y'all take it easy. Tacklefreaks.com hats are now back available. And if you couldn't watch this whole thing to be on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. Uh, love all you guys. Have a great night.